My name is Lars Kornerman and I work in the chemistry department here at Western. I'm also, also cross-appointed to the department of biochemistry. In my lab we explore proteins, the biophysical chemistry of proteins. Proteins are long chain-like molecules. When they're first made in the cell, they're disordered and they magically and spont spontaneously fold into highly ordered structures. There's a lot of questions surrounding these folding processes and the underlying mechanisms. And this is one of the key areas that we try to explore in the lab. So what really fascinates me is the beauty and the complexity of biological systems, even simple things like a single cell or a leaf or something like that. And all of this complexity really relies on a layer of chemistry. And all of this chemistry then relies on a layer of physics. My ambition is to really drill down through this level of complexity all the way from biology all the way down to physics and understand complex systems on the basis of simple physical laws and mechanisms. Much of what we do is very fundamental, but nonetheless, oftentimes there are implications, major implications for health research. For example, uh, we looked at the aggregation of proteins, which is how Alzheimer's disease and other things manifest themselves in the brain. You have aggregation and misfolding of your proteins in the brain. We explored some of these mechanisms. Um, another thing is the mechanism of apoptosis, which is basically a process by which the body can kill cancer cells, for example. And so this mechanism relies on one specific protein, but when you look at the structure of this protein, it should be inactive. And we figured out that some very specific chemical switches are required to get this protein to activate and only after these chemical switches have been switched, the protein becomes active.